Hey there to the next tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this cool Star Wars Force Lightning effect. It's really easy to make and this is what it's going to look like when we're finished. Hopefully. Nah, it's going to look like this. And if you then check out the tutorial on my blog, I'll even throw in this cool sound effect for it. I don't know if you can hear it that well because I'm not recording the audio with my PC, but it sounds cool. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new composition, 1280 by 720, and we're just going to make it, what, five seconds long. That's how long we're going to make the lightning. So, okay. So we're going to create a new, go to layer, new, sorry, solid, and create a black solid and call it lightning. Make sure it's comp size and check OK. And then we're going to add an effect. So go to effect. Oh god, where was this one? I forgot what category that was in. So we're going to go over here and type advanced lightning and add that effect. And <laughs> this looks pretty boring, doesn't it? So we're going to change that. First we're going to um, change the start and end point to somewhere where we can better see them. And these are really useful. Duh. And then we're going to change the lightning type to strike so that it ends at our end point. So that's useful if you want to actually have it hit someone. You set that end point to that person and that's it. And then we're going to come down here over here to the settings and we're going to change the forking to like 60%. Get a little more action going there. The decay to 0.35 just gets rid of a little more of those extra branches and check composite on original for a bit of extra glow for first starters and who where are my settings the turbulence we're gonna set that to two I've got everything written down on notes in front of me and I just gotta find the options here first before I can change them and this changes a lot as you can see if I go back and it gets a lot more violent a lot more action going there and the in the glow settings we're going to check the glow opacity down to zero to get rid of all the glow color we're going to take care of that later on first we're going to get rid of the glow color and we're going to and um, if you see if you scrub through the scrub through the timeline you see that there's nothing happening here well, we'll animate that later on as well. So now we're going to add a new um, adjustment layer. And on that adjustment layer, we're going to add an effect. And this one is called is under distort. And it's called, which one? We, we're going to add the turbulent displace to get it off from that technical, edgy look. We're going to make it more like Star Wars lightning. Um, we're going to change the amount to quite a lot, like 90. The size down to all the way down to 4. So we've got really small ripples going through there. And um, what else? Yeah. And we're also going to animate the evolution. We're going to set a keyframe at the beginning. And at the end of our 5 seconds, we're going to change this to one full rotation. So throughout the comp, you've, it's changing a bit, just so you get a little more motion in there. Then we're going to go to Effect, Distort, Wave Warp. I'm going to just close this one up here for a second. And make sure you get the wave height, because this looks really wavy. I'll put it all the way down to 3. The wave width, you can increase that a bit to like 50. The, let's see what else here and we'll animate the phase and instead of the, um, the waves going forward like the lightning we'll actually make this go backward which is pretty cool it's like minus two now my PC already has a hard time rendering this but yours might not it might probably not you guys already have better PCs than I do and you know what, we'll just go into the lightning and we'll animate this as well so we don't forget that later on. So what we're going to animate here is the conductivity state. So make sure you at the first frame, you check here. And then at the end, you set it to a value something like this. 
Let's see how this turned out. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And after a quick RAM preview for just a few frames at the beginning, we can already see that we're getting something really cool here. Now, what we're going to take care of now, which is basically this is the lighting, it's finished. Now we're just going to care about the blur and the color. So first, we're going to create a new, um, well first we're going to call this something like lightning effect so we can later on know what this is about, what this layer does. And then we're going to create a new, um, another adjustment layer and we'll call this lightning, or we'll just call it blur one. And then we'll add an effect called, well, we probably know this one, fast blur. And we're going to set this to 8 pixel. Sorry, I accidentally got out of that box. 8 pixels. Now, this may look quite odd, but stay with me. And we're going to duplicate this four times, and After Effects automatically renames them. And on the second one, we're going to enter a value of 16 pixels. On the third one, a value of 32 pixels. And for you blur fetishists out there, you might not want this last layer, but if you really do, put a value of 180 or something a lot higher. Now you're going to wonder where the lightning is. Well, it's still there, almost. It's just blurred out. We're going to change these adjustments la adjustment layers mode to screen. Screen? Yeah, screen. Now what this does, it's, it's hard to explain, but it basically blurs a copy of your lightning. That's what I'd, I like to see, it like something like that. It's, but it's looking like the lightning blur we want to have. And then we're going to create another adjustment layer. Call this one color. And go to effect, color correction. And we're going to use the color balance. You guys probably already spotted it. There it is. And we're going to add some color for our lighting. So the mid-tone blues we'll put to 100. 100? Yeah, 100. So this gives our lighting a very blue color. But we're also going to add some greens to the mid-tones. It just gives it a slight touch of purple. Or that, not, not really purple, it's more that light bluish. I don't know what name you'd give that in English. Then we're going to add the highlights blue. We're also going to set these to 100. But this is now really blue. Maybe too blue. And we're also going to add a touch of green, 20 something. Yeah. And you know what? I like adding that slight touch of red. So that this is the purple I was talking about. It's a really slight touch of purple. I don't know if you actually notice it. We can set it down back to zero. And 50 just for to see the difference. That's that purple. That's the Count Dooku lightning. But I don't want that. I don't want that purple. I want it bluish blue with a slight touch of purple. Really slight. I'm going to check preserve luminosity. And then we got that blurish perfect. We got it all worked out. And this is basically our lightning. And what do you do for to composite on your footage? You basically go to layer and you pre-compose this entire thing. Sorry. No, no not pre-compose it. You basically open your footage. You go to project, open your footage in a new comp, drag this on top and set it's transfer mode to overlay, I think, so that the black disappears. Sorry if I'm wrong, if it's not overlay. So that you get rid of the black. And then you just put it there where you want, where you need to, and maybe a a change these points for the start and end point in here, in this comp again. And something you might also want to do is create a mask around the beginning here, there on this first part, and mask out the blur and color, like I did on this version where I had lightning coming out of both of my hands. I masked out the blur and the color at the beginning. It just gives it a more realistic, if you can say this, is if you can say realistic to this effect. It gives it a slight more, slightly better realistic touch. It looks a bit better if it doesn't blur, if it doesn't have the entire glow blur or whatever at the beginning already. And that basically finishes our tutorial. I hope you find this effect entertaining. I hope you learned something today. And visit my blog, please. Need more visitors.
Don't forget, you can get the cool sound effect there. Rate this video, comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.